Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video and please don't forget to support this channel by uh, liking this video and also by subscribing to this channel. In this video, we will talk about how to fix this error that we are getting here. As you can see on the screen, I'm getting an error and it's saying cannot invoke compared to int on the primitive type int. So I guess that you are also getting this error uh, because you want to compare two integers uh, using the compare to method, okay? So you will get this error if you wanna compare two integer values with um, using the compare to method, the Java string compare to method. If you also want to compare like decimal numbers, instead of int here, you write double, uh, you will still get the method, uh, the error, if you try to compare decimal numbers using the compare to uh, method. So as you can see um, from the screen here, so the error is actually coming from the method that we want to use in order to compare. So. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this error and still be able to compare your integer values or your decimal numbers, okay? So, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to remove, so here, what I wanted to do, I wanted to compare my integer value here. Uh, this is my integer, I've called it value and I have, uh, stored the value nine inside and i wanted to compare it to a, a constant value okay i could write eight here i could also write five now i've written nine here so i wanted to compare the value that i have stored in my uh integer variable here with a constant value but i have used the wrong um, method since I'm getting the error. So now what method should I use in order to get the, um, in order to compare my uh, integer values? So this is what I'm gonna show you. What you need to write, since the value I want to compare is an integer, so I'm going to write integer that compare. Okay, so here note that integer here is the i of the word integer is in caps, okay? And here I'm writing compare, not compare to, okay? It's simply writing compare. And inside this method, you can see that it's taking two parameters. So the parameters I'm going to write here are going to be the two integer values that I want to compare. So in here, I'm going to write value because this is the variable uh, that is uh, storing my uh, the value nine here. And the next value I will need to write will be another value uh, with which I'm going to do the comparison. So I can write nine here, for example. Okay, so if I run, I'm getting zero here. So zero here means that the value stored in, uh, the value stored in um, my variable value is the same as the value with uh, which I am comparing it. Um, so that's why I'm getting a zero here. And if I say that uh, instead of nine here, I will write eight and run, you will see that I will get one here. So I'll get one, or let me say, let me say five. I will still get one, but I will explain better. So I'm getting one here because my first value here, my integer value here is greater than uh, the constant value five here. So if the constant value here was greater than uh, the value stored in the value here, let me say uh, 14 here, I will get minus one. Yeah, so that actually, the that is actually the rule here. So as you could also notice, instead of 
using the constant value, I could uh, use another variable. I would declare another variable, I'll call it value two, and inside I will store like the value five. And in here, I will compare the two uh, variables. I'll say value two here. Okay, so the value stored in uh, my variable value is uh, nine and the value stored in my variable value two is five. So if I run, I will get one, okay? Because the value stored in the first parameter is greater than the value stored in the second parameter here. And uh, so that's actually the rule. If I change the value stored in my second parameter and say uh, like 28, for example, if I run, you will see I will get minus one here because the value stored in my first parameter is less than the value stored in my uh, second parameter here. So if I do nine here to make sure that they are having the same uh value stored in them i will get zero uh in here so that's actually it you use the compare to method uh the java string uh, compare to method to compare two string values but you use this uh integer that compare to compare integer values and uh, if you want to compare uh decimal numbers let me say double here and in here I will say double. Okay, so double here is to make sure that I'm using decimal numbers. Okay, so what I will need to change in this statement will be uh, removing the integer and writing double in here. So instead of writing integer that compare, and then the two parameters, I will have to write double that compare and then the two parameters. And make sure that in, in all these methods, you can only compare values of the same type, okay? So if it's double, you can only compare a double with uh, another value which is of type a double, okay? And uh, in here too, the same um, rule will apply because they are storing the same values. I'll get zero if I run. If I change this value a little bit, I give it uh, the value of 9.9, .9, I will get uh, minus one. Yeah, minus one because the value stored in the first parameter is less than the value stored in the second one. In this one, if I uh, increase this value and run it, I will get one because the value stored in my first parameter here is greater than a value stored in my second parameter here. So guys, that's actually it how to compare numbers. You don't use the compare to method because you will get an error, but instead you use these two methods that I have shown you. For the integers, you use the integer that compare method for the double you use the double that compare method and for the other data types you use um, the name of the data type that compare you know uh, just follow the logic so guys that was it uh, for this video i hope uh, the video was informative and thanks for viewing and please don't forget to support this channel by liking this video by commenting and by um, subscribing to this channel so let's meet in the next video uh, until then, bye.